You probably already know how our modern subtraction algorithm works, or at least you could maybe remind yourself if you gave yourself about five minutes. But how could that algorithm have been invented? Let's explore the process of observations and reasoning steps that could have led to our modern subtraction algorithm here on Inductica. <laughs> Last time, we followed our new hero, Algamesh, as he invented his own system of numbers and invented a system of addition for that new number system. Now, Algamesh is motivated to find a system of subtraction for his new number system. After all, since Roman numerals can add, subtract, multiply, and divide, Algamesh is going to need his system to do all four of those operations. This leads Algamesh to the following question. How can subtraction be done quickly with my new number system? So Algamesh is going to start with small numbers to see if he can figure out how to subtract. He's gonna start with eight minus four. And so like last time with addition, he figures he's just gonna count backwards using his fingers. And note that this is a citation for a previous video. So he's gonna count backwards, seven, six, five, four. Okay, so he's taken away four, he's kept track of that, and so he can see that eight minus four is four. He's gonna try this again, a slightly harder one this time, 12 minus five, that's 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. Okay, and so he gets down to seven. Pretty straightforward. Now he's gonna challenge himself a little bit more, he's gonna give himself the problem 25 minus 19. Once again, he kind of thinks, okay, well, these units are the same group size as these units, so I can subtract those. And these units are the same group size as these units. I can subtract those from one another because they're all the same size. This is the same logic he used in our last video for addition. So like addition, he's going to write everything in a column so that everything is nice and neat. And so he can see where the ones go and where the tens go, and he's just gonna subtract tens and ones, okay? So he's gonna subtract nine from five, but you know, <laughs> nine is larger than five. He can't take away that many. So he thinks, well, how did they do this in Roman numerals? Whenever you didn't have a five, you could subtract. What did you do? Well, you expanded it. Then that allowed you to cross out. So he wonders, what's the equivalent of that? Just as we needed more fives to cross out in this situation, we need more stuff in the ones place to actually subtract from in this situation. So something he realizes is, I can cross this out, turn it into a one, and then add a 10 right here. So it's just a group of 10 and a group of five. So I'm starting with 15 and going down. This in the modern day, we of course call borrowing. Okay, so now, Algamesh is going to have to go through the process of uh, counting down by nine. Uh, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Uh, 6. Okay, that's how much is in that place. And then it's 10 minus 10, which is zero. So he doesn't have to write anything there. 25 minus 19 is 6. He's got it. So at this point, Algamesh is tired of counting down, and so just as he did with addition, he comes up with this subtraction table. Over a little bit of experience, he comes to figure out which actual entries he needs in this subtraction table to figure out how to subtract each column. And so now that Algamesh has the benefit of these subtraction tables, he's going to do a problem to demonstrate how it all works. He's gonna do 127 minus 55. So he writes it in this nice, neat pattern again. Seven minus five is two. He looks at his subtraction table. There's no borrowing there, so that one's easy. 12 minus five is seven, so that's seven tens and he gets his final answer. And that is subtraction in Arabic numerals. So in conclusion, Algamesh summarizes his method of subtraction. Subtract the digits of like place value from one another, starting with the lowest place value. Use the subtraction tables to speed the subtraction of each place value. If, for any place value, you are subtracting a larger number than is present, reduce the value of the menu end. The menu end means the number you're taking away from, and then the subtrahend is the number being taken away, a little bit of vocabulary there. 
reduce the value of the menu end in the next higher place by one, then add 10 to the menu end of the place value currently being subtracted. Then subtract that place value using the subtraction table. Once again, just as with the induction of addition, we must proceed in order. Notice that I didn't bring in the subtraction tables until they were needed, until Algamesh understood what kinds of subtractions he would actually need to commit in order to get this algorithm to work. So I hope you'll join me next time on this epic mathematical journey when Algamesh comes up with a system of multiplication for his new number system. This video is part of a longer series dedicated to reproving the essential ideas of math and physics by showing an actual process of observation and reasoning steps scientists could have taken to prove these conclusions. Observational proofs, also known as inductive proofs, give us a deeper, reality-based understanding of these abstract ideas and demonstrate the proper method of scientific proof. This series starts with cavemen counting rocks and will continue all the way to the frontiers of quantum and relativistic phenomena. This epic story will proceed in a possible order of discovery, since science always progresses by reasoning about observations using what has been discovered earlier. To discover the long-term goal and the true power of this project, visit my channel page for more information. To see the playlist for this series or to see my channel, just click on the links on the screen. Finally, if you'd like more lectures like this, just go to patreon.com slash inductica. For just $5 a month, you gain access to the written rigorous forms of these proofs, as well as my 34-hour lecture series, An Inductive Summary of Physics. I'll see you in the next video as this inductive journey continues.